Good morning. This is Cindy and welcome to my channel. So one of the things that I am instituting in, uh, for this year, every month I'm going to pick a different color combination or a, just a different color and we're going to craft in that combination. And because, I mean, sometimes it might just be the color blue and we'll do everything we can with the color blue. We'll make journal cards or belly bands or journal pages or whatever. We're going to just create in that color. The color for today, for February, um, if I had done this at the beginning of the month, I might have chosen red or red and white uh, because of Valentine's Day, but it's the end of the month and it's we're doing pink and green because it's spring and I created this particular card this little fold out piece the other day uh, in fact I'll link to it below this was from fabulous Friday and I really like this color scheme this is a, a digital from seven plaza that I have downloaded and I will be creating an entire journal out of this and so I thought you know what this first color scheme let's make it pink and green to that end I have pulled out all of my uh, pinks and all of my green scraps so I have those sitting here I have some pink tissue paper I don't have any green tissue paper in this color I have all of my scraps, which is overflowing and definitely needs something done with. Uh, I have a bunch of stuff out. Um, I started making the video and then realized there were a bunch of things that I forgot to say and whatnot. And so I just decided instead to stop that video and start all over again. Because, you know, this is what we do sometimes. So I have this little ticket here that was from a digital. I think that was from the paper. No, it was from Junk Journal Studio, I think. I'll look it up. I'll find out where that came from, and I will definitely put it into the description box so that you can see it. Um, this is a... Isn't that really a pretty... I've got a couple of these that I did yesterday. They are simply um, die cuts. I should have done this before I started. And what I'm doing here is just creating a pocket that can go onto a page. Let me grab a page here. So see, that's just going to go right onto the page like that. And then the pocket can go in there. I'm not actually making the video or the, the journal today. That'll come later. Now, in fact, I'll tell you when it's going to come. I'm doing a craft retreat for the very first time ever. Uh, I've never done a craft retreat before. I'm very excited. It's in Auburn um, and being run by Scrapbook Creations. And it will be um, the middle of March. So I'm putting together a bunch of stuff. I'm not going to actually put that in the journal. I'm just creating things for it. And then I'll put the journal together when I get there. Where's my, here it is. So I have a bunch of stuff out on my desktop here that I can use in creating pink and green things for this particular journal. Got that down there. That's going to be part of my background. This is one way to work, um, and that is creating things before. Sometimes I put the journal together uh, or the signature together, and then I figure out how I'm going to add things in from there. Um, this particular time, I'm creating different pieces, and then we'll figure out the signature. I really, I have some of the signature pages already printed out, and I figured the rest of them will be with, um, 
sorry, I'm going to have to concentrate. The rest of them are going to be coffee dyed pages, but I have to concentrate on this for a minute because it's very delicate. I think I've seen people do this with art glitter glue and I think it might actually work better. Because this is making a bit of a mess. Hang on, I have another option here. And that is simply to fill that in where the rose is going to be. And then just put it down and then this purple will dry clear. I had some sparkles I might choose to do that. Where's that? Like I said, that'll dry clear, so I'm not too worried about that. It's already starting to clear up up here. Okay, we're going to set that aside, let that dry, and then we'll take a peek at it in a little bit. In the meantime, let's grab another piece. I have some pink over here. I haven't grabbed that pink. Hang on. I can't quite reach it. Um, the pinks that I have, that's not a bad pink. I like that pink. I like this pink, but it's thin. It's more like um, just regular paper, and I don't know how to quite use that. Same thing with the larger piece. Um, so we have this. We can, I like that size. Let me check the size. It's four inches by five inches. This is a nice four by five piece. I'm going to cover up my glues. That's what I'm going to do. If I don't cover my glues, I won't have glue. I'll have gunk. So I'm going to round my corners before I even get started because what I tend to do, sorry about the click, is to go ahead and do my decorations and I go right up to the edge and then I end up cutting it off. So we're going to do this instead. I have these nice big pieces. Kind of like that on there. And then I could do, told you I did a bunch of these. I could do that on there. If I wanted to, let me give it a little, just grab just a little bit of this. I could put this down behind it just to kind of give it some texture. Or do it offset. Okay, let's go ahead and put this on first. Tonight is the opening of my husband's play, Men of a Certain Age. I'm very excited about it. We'll be going to see that tonight. I want to offset a little bit. Now this has only been, what, a few minutes and you can see that most of that purple has already faded and it's sticking just fine. Okay, we're going to let that keep drying. Yeah, my husband is a theater director, a plein air painter, a playwright. He's a renaissance man. Me, I'm a writer and I do this. I'm learning collage because don't put a paintbrush in my hand. I've created a couple of backgrounds with paint and that's about as best as I'm going to do. 
Okay, now this is going to be a little bit harder to attach because um, I put the tissue paper down. So let's see what we can do here. I think Art Glitter Glue is gives me a thinner edge. If I go fast enough. Over some of this. And that, oh no, I got a big glob coming out. I don't want that. All right. Trying to make guesses as to where it's going to be. It seems to be doing all right over the tissue paper. Stay put, stay down. Okay, as you could see, this one came out all right. The purple's almost entirely gone. It will be completely, even off of here, it doesn't show up at all there. So I have that, and then I have a card that can slide in. I do want to take off that little extra piece at the top here. And let's go ahead and do the distressing because otherwise I will forget to do this. And I do want this particular piece to be a little bit distressed. This, this entire journal will have that kind of feel to it of, you know, of something that is just slightly aging. Not completely aged, but just starting. That's kind of what I want for it. Is it's, It just should look like it's been, you know, maybe 30 or 40 years old. So there we go. We have two pieces. And the pink and the green. That'll go nicely with this piece. This piece I did not distress around the edges yet. I have to do that. I'll do that later. Okay. What else do we have here? Um, I have some printed pieces here. Some printed cardstock. I'm not sure if I like that. I do like this one. And this one obviously came out of a different piece. A different uh, a pad. That's the word I'm looking for. A different pad. We'll just take that and put that over there for now. It's not particularly hard cardstock, but you know what this might be kind of nice for? I think what I'm going to do with this one, this is a little bit longer than a six by six. Fold it up. It is four by six. It's six inches this way and four inches this way. So this was an eight by six piece. And I'm going to grab a couple of papers. I'll be right back. Let me grab the papers. Okay, I've just grabbed a couple of sheets of notebook paper, and I do want to take off just a little bit of that because I don't want the holes. So I'm going to take those off, and then I want them to be six inches tall. And I don't think I want the piece here because that's six inches this way, so I actually want it to be five and a half. Well, maybe a little bit more than five and a half. 
Okay, we'll set those aside. Those will become a different project on a different day. Come here. How many pages did I get? I got one, two, three. So I fold them in half, and now I'm going to have more. And I put them right in here. And I'm making, obviously, a little booklet out of this really pretty pink and green. So it's just a little notebook. I could probably put more pages in, but I think I'm going to, because I could just throw those in. Nah, we're not going to bother. I like this. Okay, and to make this work, Grabbing the stapler. Hope I'm in frame. I seem to be. Okay, and I think just two staples will be plenty. Okay. Having trouble. I gotta adjust my glasses. I can't quite see where I'm going here. One angle getting the angle right and getting it is always my hardest part. All right, there we go. Put that away. Because I don't need it on my table. I have enough things on my table. And I just dropped half of them off of my table. This is a really cool piece. I got that as well. Not so much that, but this piece. But I don't know. We'll see what, if we use it later or not. All right. So now I have a little booklet to go in there. And I think I want to drop some things. I don't know what I just dropped, but we're not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna round the corners. And I rounded the corners of that a little bit, which is just fine. So now this, I've got this nice little booklet, and let's see what I've got to put on it. I know, tissue paper is my go-to. I always seem to pull out the tissue paper. Just to give it something. Some definition, some depth. Okay. I need a, you know, I've got one more, but it's not the right color. It's pink. And I think pink on pink gets lost. So I don't think I want to do that. What else do I have that I could use? I've got all of these other flowers. I have these daisies. I could put a couple daisies on there. Daisies and chamomile. Make a little bouquet of daisies. I kind of like that. Of course, if you put in three, you got to put in five. There we go. I like that. Okay, I lost my glue book. Grabbing my glue book. Grabbing my glue. And let's put down, of course, I've got that all set the way I want it. Do you think it's going to stay that way? Of course not. So this month's colors are pink and teal. And I don't know what March's colors will be. If you are working on a particular journal and have a request, you can certainly put it down in the comments below. And we'll see what we can come up with. When I do this, I don't really care if the tissue paper 
wrinkles a little bit. In fact, I kind of like it when it does because it gives it some texture. This is one of those tags from Junk Journal Studios. All right, let's see if we can't get these on here in some semblance of what they look like right now. Flower arranging. I, I, in sixth grade, we watched a film on flower arranging. And the only thing I remember from it is triangles and odd numbers. That you make a triangle with the flowers, the, the with the arrangement, it can make a triangle. And that the you should have an odd number of flowers in it. That's it. That's all I remember out of the whole thing. That was back in sixth grade. Come on, let go of me. That plastic sticks. Um, I'm not sure where I got these stickers. I think I got them in a pack that I bought when I, I went to a scrapbooking store in Canada um, last year and I bought a bunch of stuff because the American dollar, it was, my American dollar went a little bit further. So it was really nice to have. the ability to buy a little bit more than I normally would have because, okay, I'm not going to try and throw that away because it just sticks to me. A lot of static in the, it's very dry in the house, so we got a lot of static, static electricity going on. Okay. That one bubbled up just a little bit, but not too bad. Throw that one away. Obviously, I'm reusing my tape, but I learned this trick from Carrie the Crafter, and it really does work a lot. It also you are pulling the front away from the back, not the back away from the front. That's the big thing. There. I know. Let's see what we can do with this. Let me get that off of there. I can't, I'm terrible at tying bows. Because that would look really cute there if I could figure out how to tie the bow. Okay, hang on. I, I may end up stopping the video and trying to do this because, you know, doing it, with you guys watching yeah i just can't figure it out and that wants i think it just have enough i don't have a long enough piece all right either that or i'll give it to my daughter because she makes really nice bows if she can make a bow out of that that would be perfect um if she can't then we'll figure out something else all right one thing left to do with this you know what it is we're going to just Darken it just ever so slightly, just to, this is vintage photo that I am using. I know it's what a lot of people use. And I like to just give it a little bit of um, color on the edges, just to make it look like this has been sitting in a drawer for a little while. There. So we have, I was going to put my timer on and I forgot. So we have made three things. I have journal, you know, if I do that as a flap, where's my page? There it is. If I do that as a flap, I could even slide this right in there. But 
I think I'm going to do it as a pocket and this will go into that pocket, which means you need a little bit of something on, you know what? I think we're going to use this here and we'll find a different piece for that other one. So let me just grab my fabric scissors because I like to cut the ribbons with the fabric scissors. Gives a cleaner cut. We'll put just a little bit of a drop of glue right here. And attach that. Get a little, there we go. attach that. I'm going to hold it for just a second to make sure it sticks. There we go. And now when this does go in, it, this will go into the pocket with the two matching pieces and that'll come out. Won't that be gorgeous? All right. That's going to be nice. I have this to go with it. Um, and now I have this to go with it. So that's it for today. I think we're going, I'm going to sit here and play a little bit more with my pink and greens. I now have an empty spool, but I'm not going to toss that because I always end up with pieces, extra pieces of ribbon like this one that don't have a spool. And yet we'll look at that. It'll fit right in there almost as if it were made for it. And now I can have that sitting there ready to be used later. And I can see it and it's not all wadded up in the corner like the other pieces. I still have a piece in there that's wadded up in the corner. There we go. All right. I hope you're having a good day. If you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. I put out videos on Maker Monday, on Fabulous Friday, and with the occasional Walkthrough Wednesday. This is uh, Monday today, so the next video at this point will be coming out on Friday. But if you're afraid of missing one, click that little notifications bell, and that'll let you know when I put out a new piece. Uh, I think that's it. I hope you're having a great day. Until later, this is Cindy signing off.